Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to look at the Amazon Silk Browser on the Kindle Fire. So one of the big features about the Kindle Fire is the browser, and not just it's not just any any standard Android browser. It's the Amazon Silk browser, which takes advantage of using Amazon servers to sort of offload some of the more intensive uh, intensive web pages, some of the intensive features that a web page has to load the page faster and to make it more responsive. So this is the main page here. So it sort of has a sort of all your recently accessed um, web pages plus some of your bookmark pages as well too. We're going to load up some pages here. We'll try ESPN here first to show you that. And it's one of the more intensive pages that has flash content, that has um, all different types of elements on there. And you can see how fast it loaded up here. It loaded pretty well. You see the flash content there available too. And um, for the most part, it, the scrolling, it's depending on the page, can be a little, a little slow at times. But and the pinch to zoom isn't as smooth as you want it to be. But the page is rendered beautifully. It loads up relatively quickly, faster than I've seen on most browsers, and it does work in landscape mode as well too. You can open it up like that. You can see. And uh, what we'll do is open up another tab here. Show the on-screen keyboard. Type in a website to go to. Even though it's already there, we'll type it this way actually. So you can see the thumb keyboard. We'll go to YouTube. All right, I already have it bookmarked there. Head over to YouTube's website with some more flash content. Goes up the main page here, YouTube. And let's see here, he loads up the flash ad. Pinch to zoom in. Check out one video here. Hopefully that video opens up. There we go. It just loads up just like that and using that, using those servers through the Silk browser. Definitely a really cool technology that I that I'd love to see implemented into other browsers as well too in the future. Maximize it like that. Get it in full screen. Pretty cool there. We can pause it like that. See if you maximize uh, back out. What's out there? Okay, it there. Welcome to the Alright, pause. Let's maximize back out. There we go, back there, just have to back there like that, so, all right. But um, you kind of get the point there with the Kindle browser. It's a real simple browser that renders re really fast. Isn't the smoothest with scrolling and sort of uh, uh, pinch and zoom and stuff like that, but it works and renders your pages fast, you'll get there fast, and overall I really do like the uh, the, br the browser built in here. It's probably one of the best in a tablet, and I can't wait to see the improved in technology even more to really get this to be a very premier browser, and it's something that could probably change mobile browsing, especially with the type of technology that, that, um, that Amazon's implementing here. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, and you just checked out the Amazon, t Amazon Silk Browser, reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also, check us out on Google Plus by circling us. Also, check out our full website at bw1.com, the link to that, and all social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.